Welcome to another installment of the Resource Editor tutorial. And this time I'm going to talk about Lead Component, which allows us to do uh, rather cool things with buttons and with uh, all sorts of uh, components working in sync together. So, to show you how this works, um, what we're essentially trying to do is create things like multi-line buttons and things like that, that you can see right here. So I'll show you how this works. This uses a lead component uh, feature. Um, I'll just create a new component here. Now, if I create a button in this theme, I just get a button with nothing special about it. I can't break to a new line, but I can do things like place an icon on it as whatever um, and uh, use it for whatever purpose I want, but I can't m add a new line, I can't do all sorts of creative things like add another icon on the other side, I can't do a uh, lot of things like this essentially. So a solution up until now was just to take a text area and as you can see I have a text area right here and just set the UI ID to button and then I can just write uh, very long uh, lines of text and the nice thing about this uh, is that it breaks uh, to new lines. Uh, so seamlessly, I don't need to actually know how big the screen is. And this pretty much works except for the part where I actually need to press the button. So if I'm opening that demo right there. I want to press this. It will work as, it seems to work as expected, but really what would happen in an actual application is I won't get the action event. I will go to text editing because this is a text area. And here this actually calls action performed, which is what I really want. I don't want this, even though it looks like it is what I want. So the solution when you're a programmer is to actually override this and just uh, build your own code. If you're not a programmer and even if you are but want to instead have icons here as well and other things then you can use a lead component. A lead component is generally a container which in which we can place anything we want. I can place in a label, another label, I can place in uh, another label and make it an icon. So for instance here I'll just, um, first I'll fix the layout so it works as I expect it to. Um, let's make it a border layout and then uh, let's take this and make it into a container where I have a box layout Y like this and um, I'll just move a couple of these in there and I'll place this container in the center and I'll place this label in the west and I'll remove the text here and I'll put an icon so where's the icon right here let's find the icon uh, here we go so this looks great and to actually change it to look like a button I can just do this and presto I have a button I can obviously change the UI IDs of everything, but if I go to the theme, it does nothing. I can click on it all day long and I get nothing. So to make it actually behave like a button, I need to delegate. So to do this, I'll remove this label. I'll place in a button instead. And this isn't the look I want, so I'll just change the UI ID to be label, which is what I want, even though it's physically a button. And then all I need to do here is define it as the lead component. And I select button 1 as the lead component. And now I can just go here and this just works. And all I need to do is add a listener to button 1. That means button 1 will get all the events, button 1 will seem like it is the actual button. But really everything works on the lead component. Now this isn't as seamless as it would seem because we need to add press styles for things like container which by default doesn't have a press style so we need to define its press style as transparent and uh, 
we need to define uh, labels press style as well also make it transparent otherwise this wouldn't look good if I, before I had this in place uh, it didn't seem you see that that's what we get when the label doesn't have a press style so I needed to have this and now it works as expected so this is generally just lead component it's really easy to use once you understand the concept and you can essentially build any form of UI that you want to act as a single cohesive unit. It works in the code as well. It works in, uh, in uh, this tool very easily. And it's easy for a developer to integrate with. Um, and for a designer to work with and uh, design around. So that's it. Uh, until next time, thank you.